In my previous video, I've shown you how to free up space on OneDrive by moving things from OneDrive to your computer. But one of my viewers have asked me how to do it the opposite way. That means to move the files from your computer to your OneDrive and whether that will help you to save storage. Yes, it will help you to save storage, but it's a bit tricky. So let's get started. The topics that I will cover in this video are as follows. How to upload to OneDrive and delete the files from your computer. Then, how to change the settings on OneDrive to stop the files getting downloaded back to your computer. And finally, how to quit OneDrive. First, if you go to your OneDrive using browser rather than the OneDrive that's installed on your computer, what you can do is to use up all the 5GB by transferring the files from your computer to OneDrive. So on my computer, I got a few photos. I will select them, I drag, and I drop them into my OneDrive. And it starts uploading. And if you click on this information sign, you could see more details and it will show you the progress of the update. So it shows you that you have uploaded them successfully for uploaded items to my files. And you can see them here. So make sure you have uploaded them completely. That's important. Then if I go back to this folder, I can right click and I can simply click on delete and I can get rid of these four and in this way I'm saving some space from my computer. Now you need to change some of the settings on OneDrive, otherwise OneDrive will start downloading those files that you have just uploaded to your OneDrive back to your computer and it will start taking space from your computer. So now I'll show you some of the settings that you can change so that OneDrive would not download files back to your computer. So what you need to do is to come and find this icon. If you don't see it here, click on here and you might see more icons. Then right click on it and then simply click on settings in here in the settings first go to the backup tab and make sure photos and videos that it says here automatically save photos and videos to onedrive whenever i connect a camera phone or other devices to my computer is unchecked also uncheck the screenshots then the next thing you need to do is to come to this which says important pc folders so if you click on manage backup, make sure all these are unchecked. Otherwise, OneDrive would automatically copy all the files in these folders to your OneDrive and vice versa. Now come to the settings tab. And I think one of the most important thing you can do to save spaces is to use this function called files on demand. It means OneDrive won't download the files in OneDrive to your computer unless you try to open them. It will just show you a preview of the files and then you have to double click on it to download it when, whenever you start using them. So in this way also you save space. So click on it. There are other options here that also can help you. For example, start OneDrive automatically when I sign in to Windows. If you uncheck this, your OneDrive would not start automatically. That means it would not have a chance to download or upload from your computer back to the cloud or from cloud back to the computer. This can be very useful if your OneDrive is already full and you just want to keep it online and use it from the browser. So this option applies only if you are connected to metered network just to save space on your computer, keep this checked. And lastly, go to the account tab. Here you could choose folders that you want them to be available onto your PC. So if I click on choose folders and I don't want accidentally these files to get downloaded to my computer, I can uncheck all of them so that OneDrive would not download these folders to your computer 
I think this option is very relevant to the person who asked this question because in this way, as you can read here, if you stop syncing files or folders, they will stay on OneDrive but won't be on this PC. If they are already on this PC, they will be deleted. That means it would automatically, if they are here on your PC, get deleted and it can help you to save space on your computer. I think this is the best solution to the problem that the viewer has asked. So don't do it if you want still them to be available. So to save space on your computer, just click on OK. But again, be careful. These files and folders are gonna get deleted from your PC. Again, if your OneDrive has used up all the 5GB free space, and if you have bought space by purchasing more than 5GB and all the space is filled up, what you can do is to unlink this PC. In this way, there is no chance and there is no risk of OneDrive starting downloading files and folders back to your computer and hence you're again saving space on your computer. And then once you're done, click on OK. And the last thing you could do is simply come here, right click on it and then click on close OneDrive. And it says, are you sure you want to close OneDrive? And I say, yes, I'm sure, close OneDrive. And once you do that, it's totally unlinked. In this way, OneDrive won't be able to download files back to your computer. But if you want to open OneDrive again, so that you could sync your files, simply go to the start and type in OneDrive, select it and it would open again. In this video, I have shown you a lot of different methods that you can follow to stop OneDrive downloading files to your computer. However, you don't have to do all the steps that I have shown you in this video. You can choose and pick which one suits your situation the best.